Hello, and today Charlotte's joining in. Big surprise. How unusual. <laughs> we have today a Brazilian chinense. Yes. yes. I, why do chilies have weird names that I can't pronounce? Tosololo. Tosololo. Lo. Yeah. I just call it the lol. The lol. Lol chili. Tosololo. To lo, lo, lo. Hold those, baby. I will. Plant, well, we actually had troubles getting it in here. It is massive. Oh. Maybe lower. Lower. Lower, yeah, yeah. It's that half of it you can see in the screen now. Yeah, see, so look. Like, Ooh. Ooh, yeah. These grow like the clappers. They get to over a meter tall. They spread out. And the leaves are a lighter color and have a really cool sort of coloring in them, like purple a purpley, tinge, dark or... tinge or something through yeah. them. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Even the pots, like, they start off green. green. Then they go black. Black. Then they get some, do we have it's one like, with some black streaky? Can... Black streaky, like Darth Maul kind of. Yeah, that's one here too. You can see it's like both orange yeah. and purple. But they start off green and then they yeah. end up going black and then they end up going Darthy Maul stripy and then Oops. wind up orange. Yeah. With like a little, some of them have like a little tinge of purple through them. Yep, 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 yep. I think we got these off Yucca yeah. in Finland. In Finland, yeah. Yeah. And last year we grew them, but it was up the back and it was intertwined in all, yeah. in all of the like the passion fruit vine yeah. and everything. So this year ripped it out, gave it its, some big boots, and off it went. It's it like the clappers, it grows like the clappers. But what are they like? That is the main thing. It's a chinense, so know, be prepared for a I'm bit like, of oomph. That's why I'm like taking a deep breath. Ooh, which is the biggest? I can't that see without my glasses on. Which one? This one. That one. Oh, Alright, the biggest. I go the biggest. Yeah. There we go. But yeah, pods, about two and a half or so, two inches maybe long, about a centimetre, half an inch or so wide. Oh. Chinese. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you wanted to be first today. Mm. Wow. It's got a real sweetness to it. Yeah. It does. It tastes really yummy, actually. I'm getting like a hint of chinense coming through. Yeah. Here. But it's it's really sweet. And it's got this tang to it. So it's sweet yeah. and tangy. But it's a weird kind of sweet, isn't it? It's like really Ooh. sugar kind of sweet. Yeah. But now the heat comes. Boom! Whoa. Wow! Oh, it hits me like straight in the back of the throat. That is amazing flavour. It is. It's like sweet, and then you get a tang, and then you get a, yeah. a sort of a fruitiness with it. Oh dear! Wooshka! It's, <coughs> it's really got some oomph, and it's like. It's but true, isn't it? It's like right in the yeah. back of the right in the pit, yeah. the back of the throat. It's just going bang. But, but that's I, it. What a beautiful flavour. Mmm. Now it's starting to spread a bit, but the whole yeah. mouth's okay. It's just mainly right in the <laughs> pit. Are you getting that too? Yeah. Like nothing in the in the in the front whatsoever. No. It's just all in the back of the For the throat. The, yeah. Thing drool happening. Yeah. Amazing flavour. Wow, that is one of the trippiest chilies ever. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Because that sweetness is hard to describe, but it, it's sort of like a sugary sweet. And then it's got this sort of fruity kind of a what tang about the to texture? it. What texture? Is that because they're really ripe? That's because, because they're mine... really ripe, but it's got a softish kind of a texture. Yeah, but this one was, wasn't that? If you find a Darth Morley one, like, see, which yeah. is less ripe. But mine was just a bit squeezy still, even though I'm squishy. squishy. Like yeah, it's got a soft, like a little soft it's texture. It's got like a to bit it. of a soft, really delicious. Kind of I like it. I'm waiting oh, yeah. for this heat to move 
forward, but yeah. it's just not. No, it's like steam. It's just sitting in the back of the throat and I have it a bit on the, on the, on the tongue, lips, you but that's lips. because I like chew it. I didn't put it all in my mouth. Yeah. But that's definitely upper mid heat. Yeah. It's I dare say it's like nearly hab heat. Like pretty, a heat. pretty close up near yeah. hab heat. But it's it's weird how it's yeah. just sitting right in the back of the throat. Yeah. And then it's coming up just a little bit yeah. over the top palate. But I'm getting none on the sides of the mouth. None I've got neither. just a light I, I, glow yeah. on the tongue. Exactly. But yeah. Wow. That's really that trippy. That's a surprise. Ooh. But that flavor, I love it. It's like eating a lolly kind of a thing. <laughs> it is really, really sugary sweet. I'm not really getting much Chinens flavour. Mm. But see what I mean? Yeah. Like, the heat's probably more concentrated yeah. up there, but if you're just chewing on the ends of them... I did that. Look at you. Go you. You're having lots of it. Mm. But it's that flavour. Yeah, and then that... I really like that softness to the plug too. The softish texture. Yeah. Yep. And then that flavour. It's yeah. really delicious. Okay, now we've waited a while. It's all still concentrated on the back of the throat. That's where all of the main heat is. Yeah. But we still have a light little glow. Like on the, the back. Front of the, I have it like yeah. the back of my palate. palate. Yeah. It's like starting to glow up. Like it's yeah, that's what I was saying. The the yeah, <laughs> but it's not just moving totally forward and no. sitting in the front of the mouth. It's it's up. You can still feel it lightly yeah. throughout the mouth, but the burn's mainly concentrated in the back of the throat. And I still have that beautiful flavour. The flavour. That's sensational. That's amazing. What would you do with those? I was actually thinking about pickling. They would be awesome in, pickled. In a white. Vinegar, in that sweet vinegar -y. yeah with a bit of lime in it and yeah. sugar and white 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 vinegar, vinegar white sugar and some slices and of that, fresh lime i think that would be yeah mm. really yummy and with that it's almost tabasco-y kind yeah. of texture that's true there we go it's almost got that you know that really soft squishy, squishy yeah. texture yeah they're firm but then when you yeah. eat them it's got that a real softish texture, yeah. really sweet, really fresh. I love, 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 love these. Although now I've eaten most of them, I don't really. I know the plant looks shows. a bit like sad, but it's because it's nearly winter here. Ah, you get that. So but, it has start to drop its leaves. But I got a bit just come out from between my teeth, and then yeah. I chewed it. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's like level sweet as. Uh, Sugar roast peach. Sweeter. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Because that's a different kind of a sweetness. This yeah. has more got more uh, more sugar. That's got a fruity kind of a sweetness. Yeah. This has got like a sugary kind of a sweetness. You know when you have a spoonful of sugar? If you have a spoonful of sugar. <laughs> I don't know that <laughs> feeling. I can talk I about like, chocolate. Uh, I like sugar. Uh, yeah, yeah, but it doesn't yeah. taste like chocolate. No, of no, course, no, but... no. But sugar, sugar sweet. Yeah. Maybe like fairy floss sweet. Probably, yes. And we can call it the fairy floss. Yeah. Chin. It's to really sweet. To sololo. To sololo. To, to sololo. T S H O L O L O. So we just call it lolo. Lolo. To sololo. To sololo. I give up. Yeah. I give up. But the yeah. lol chili. The lol chili. From? Brazil. Brazil. Hmm. All right. Uh, give it a few minutes. We can do that. We can do that. I'm still burning, but it's not like it has yeah. dropped. Well, we'll give it five minutes and <gasps> see. But as you were saying just then, yes. Yeah. It was really caning in the back of the throat, yeah. up around the hab level. And now it's just slowly petering out. Settling Ooh. down. Yeah. yeah. But we'll give it a few minutes. We'll pop back and we'll see how it goes. Okie dokie. Catches. Five minutes later, Charlotte, myself, and the Tisholololo. Tisololo. 
Yes. So solo. The chinens from Brazil. Yeah. Well, I've been chopping all the end bits of these. I know, and but you're they eating look them. Good. See? Yeah. You go, oh, I'm not into hype. These ones have some definite oomph, and you're eating them. I know. But I it's might, just that flavour. I might finally grow, grow up chili wise. <laughs> but it's just that flavour. These are absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Lovely, soft texture, beautiful, sweet flavour. Mm. And then you get that after you chewed a bit. That chinens. You get a light chinens coming through, coming through. Fruitiness. But really pleasant. Yeah. Deep solid burn in the back of the throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And mainly in the back of the throat. Yeah. At the moment, it's dropped right down. Yeah. But I can still feel it in the back yeah. of the throat, a little bit on the tongue. But and like to throat. look at the... I've admired this plant the whole season because it looks absolutely amazing with those leaves that has like two colors and yeah yeah the pods and the pods the and then, then the color yeah. change because that was why i brought yeah. it up from the back from and last year it almost year. looks like an umbrella full of little chilies hanging yeah. they are yeah. sensational all right and it's the good thing is already on the website it's on the website already because we've, we've had it a couple the, of years yeah. yeah now we've done the video so mm. But that's the thing, we've grown it for years, not yeah. tried it. Had we have tried that before, we probably would have grown more and be eating them and having them pickled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But that's the thing about not trying anything before we video it. Yeah. Then it's always a surprise. But we can grow some chilies five, six, seven years and not even try them. Yeah. Because I won't try one until I video it. Yeah. So you get that initial I... reaction. I must admit, I've tried it when I put it on the website. I just couldn't remember it at all because it's. I have to try the chilies when I have to describe the flavour. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. but I know you haven't tried it. No, no, I love it. I love it. But I won't get it out because it's just. I can't remember. It's just it. too big. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well. Thank you for thank doing you that. Thank you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a pleasure. That one. It was. Mm. It was a bit hectic, but a pleasure. Yeah, definitely. It's always a pleasure doing one with you, by the way. Oh. Oh. All right. Enough of that. We'll go and get a room. Yeah, we do. We'll go and get a room. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thank you for joining in. Thank you, the awesome Tashol Walalo. Yeah. Chili. And we'll catch us all later for some more exciting chili adventures. 